Hi, I'm Gabby Womack, and I'm the reference slash access services librarian at McQuaid Library. So I'm going to help you get started with your Libby app today. And what you're going to need is your Mac card or your library card if you're a public patron and your device that you're hoping to get set up on. I'm using an iPad today. You can do more than one device if you'd like to. So follow along with me um, throughout this video. You can pause or um, start back up again whenever you need to. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me with my email, or you can check out our LibGuide on the library homepage. Here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install the free software. You're going to find this software on your app store for Android, iOS, which is iPhone or iPad, or Windows 10 device. You can also use it by visiting libbyapp.com in your browser. So that's Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge browser. So once you're done downloading, you're going to want to open that app up right away. And you're going to see that Libby will prompt you to find your library and sign in with the library card. So what you need if you're using your Mac card is the barcode on the back. That's what you're going to fill in and for the library that you're going to choose you need Noble which means North of Boston Library Exchange. That's your library if you are using McQuaid Library. To search this app tap on library on the bottom left corner of your device and type your desired title into search for a book bar. If you prefer to browse you can scroll down on the app or you can tap Explore on the right side of the screen. So let's just look around, pick out a book or a magazine that we might want. So once you find your book or magazine, you can tap on it for more information and or tap the borrow button. If the title you're searching for is already checked out, you can press Place Hold. The calendar icon will let you know how long the estimated wait time is. So let's say I see a book that the wait time is six months. Maybe I don't want to wait that long, or maybe I do really want to read this, but uh, maybe I should read something else in the meantime. So I'm still going to place it on hold and keep an eye on that later, but while I have that on hold, I can check something else out to fill my time. Borrowed titles are going to appear under Shelf. Shelf is on the bottom right hand of the device you're using. You're going to press on that and it'll open up to show you your loans, your holds, and your tags. We'll talk about tags later. So your loans automatically download when you're on Wi-Fi so that you can read them while you're offline. For your loans, you can tap Read With, so that's if it's an ebook. Read With is going to allow you to choose between Kindle or Libby to read your ebook on. Once you've picked out what you're going to read with, you can just get going and you're good. But if you have an audiobook or a magazine, you can tap Open Audiobook or Open Magazine to get started with that title. Tap Manage Loan to see options like Renew or Return. There are due dates on each item. They will automatically return when the due date hits. So you do not have any overdue books at any point in time. But if this book should be returned when you're in the middle of listening to it or reading it, you can check it out again. And once it's checked out again, you'll see that it has saved your place. So that's a really nice feature. You can also return it early. Maybe you didn't like this title. Sometimes it'll show you how many people are waiting on it and maybe you'll decide that you wanna give it up and pick something else. You can also manage the items that you've placed on hold from your shelf. If you tap on holds, you can scroll through the items you've placed there. You'll notice that your holds will show you estimates of when they're available for borrowing. If the hold is going to be available soon and you aren't ready to read it yet, you can suspend it by clicking on Manage Hold and then Suspend Hold.
If a book you placed on hold becomes available and you aren't ready for it yet, another option, which will be deliver later, will appear. The option allows you to pick when you want the book to be delivered to your loan shelf. You can check out up to six titles at a time, choose between a one to three week loan period for ebooks and audiobooks, place up to 10 holds on items that are currently checked out, and you can save up to 5,000 titles to a wish list or tags. So tags are the third option on your shelf. And the tags are basically, uh, let's say you wanna remember what you were reading and if you liked it or not. There's a thumbs up, there's a thumbs down option. You can also see that there's a book option, like a stack of books, and you can use that for whatever you want. Each of these tags mean whatever you want them to. You'll just place them on each book when you're browsing or when you're searching. Thank you for watching our Libby tutorial and happy reading!